Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you joined me today. We are going over what I want to put in my 2021 planner. Just to say right now, I do not have everything, but you will get the gist of what I am going to be putting in for my 2021 planner. And honestly, what I have been using um, basically just these first couple of weeks of January so far. So I did record this a couple of weeks ago. Um, because I wanted to make sure that this is what I was using and so far so good. So join me. I hope you enjoy this. If you like these kind of videos, hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you want to keep watching stuff with me and I um, hope you enjoy. So you just saw me take out my wellness. Um, if you haven't yet, go back a couple videos, or I think it was the one before this actually, where I put together my January wellness page. And that's actually how I started this process. I just started my January wellness page, a page that I knew I wanted in this planner. I got inspired to decorate and get it going. And then I realized, you know what? I really wanna put this together. So I finished that page up, put it back in there, um, and then just started pulling from different areas of things that I have. So I bought quite a few different extension packs this year because I am totally the type that wants all these random other pages in my planner. I can't just stick with like a monthly and a weekly. I need other ways of tracking information and keeping information. I honestly call my planner my personality planner because that's Basically what it ends up showing is my personality, my creativity, and I really like the extension packs because they provide that for you. So what I'm going through right now is not necessarily going to be the next section, but it's the goals extension pack. And I really love this extension pack. I was going to do a like flip through and everything, but I figured you guys are seeing it all here. If you do want to flip through, please let me know in the comments because I will totally do that for you. I don't use it all at one time, so I have plenty of pages from this pack that I can show. But what I'm basically doing is picking out from the goals extension pack and figuring out what I could use it for. And that's why I love splitting up little stickies like this and just putting on them the idea of what I'm gonna use it for. Not necessarily written in stone or anything, but it's pretty much the idea of what I'm gonna be using it for. So if you're curious how to put together a planner, just basically you think that one planner um, just wasn't really doing it for you and you really just want to put together a planner, what I would say my first tip is, is to sit down, make a list of the things that you like to keep track of. So basically, if you just like to keep track of events that are going on or appointments and stuff for your family and um, to-do lists then yeah, one planner might be perfect for you. But if you're like me and you have a lot of different kind of categories going on in your life, so for example, I have work, I have um, homeschool, I have, I like to keep track of my home, my home needs, like uh, I ho my home care or chores and stuff like that, um, our meal planning, just basically different things that I keep track of. I made a list, I wanted to... Um, organize it in a way that I could um, not have it all over the place, but have sections for each of those things that I need. So my home section, so any basically those things that were pertaining to home, like my home care or chores, my meal planning, um, I have a home section for that. And my um, kids' appointments or my any, any of our appointments goes in that section. But then I also have a different section for work. And I wrote down a list underneath my work category of what I need to keep track of for work. So 
student assignments, the assignments that I have to post for the students every week, and you know, the list goes on. So basically that's what I would suggest doing. Keep a, or put together a general list of all the things that you like to keep track of or that you need to keep track of, and then figure out little categories. And that will help you, the categories will help you to figure out if you need more than one planner. And then you can put together a catch-all or Franken planner like I am. Okay, so right now I'm going to talk about my suggestions for if you're kind of your you're like in your first time with this. So over a year ago was my first time um, getting into the Happy Planner. And um, I did kind of watch some videos and learn about catch-all planners or Franken planners. And um, basically I just, you know, bought a few different planners that were on sale. And that would be one of my first suggestions for you is do not just buy a whole bunch of planners, a whole bunch of stickers, a whole bunch of stuff until you really do know that you want to be doing this, that you want to be using multiple planners and that you even have the time for it and the organization for it. So basically just get a planner or two or three if they're on sale. Okay. So maybe start with one planner, but if you know that you really want to try this whole like Franken planning thing out, go ahead and get some sale planners or better yet, get a planner and some extensions that are on sale. Okay. So I wouldn't want you to spend a whole bunch of money and then realize that this isn't the way that you want to plan. Because if you end up doing something like this and you find that you don't have enough organization or time to keep up with it, you're just going to quit. And I don't think that's what you want to do. I think what you'll want to do is just kind of figure out your style. So the first um, couple months or half a year or even a year, you're kind of figuring out your style. And that's what I had to do last year. So just figuring out my style, what I really liked in my planner, what I really needed in my planner. And um, I'll be honest, I stopped planning in it about six months in because I also got tired of the style that I chose. My life was changing, like things were going on. So basically just be open to the changes. And that's what I love about Happy Planner because I mean, who doesn't love that you can just kind of take a page out and put a new page in or something. So give it some time with a couple planners or a planner and a couple extensions and just kind of see what you like keeping track of. Don't worry if it's a mess or all over the place. That is probably going to teach you how and what you like to keep track of. So then I also would suggest that once you do that, um, I would suggest keeping two or three months together at first. I started with just a month and I got really overwhelmed because I had all these different sections and then every month I had to switch it out and it was really time consuming. Um, now it's a lot better because I have a whole system. So I'd love to show you the system in future videos. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in those. But in the meantime, for those of you starting out, just kind of keep a couple months together and then you'll kind of see what you need and you can make adjustments as you go or after the two to three months. You don't want to do it every single month or you might just stop doing it. Okay, so kind of back to what I'm doing on the screen here. Um, you can see I made a little sticky note of all the areas that I need to make sure that I have sections for. So my wellness has a few different things in it. Um, I haven't received my faith planner, but that's on there. I have, I'm trying to read it. <laughs> I have um, like my social media. I have my life, family style stuff. Anyway, so I'm making sure that as I go through all of the options that I have, like planners and extension packs, that I can check off that I've covered it or at least given it to, assigned it to something or had some kind of idea of usage for it. So as I'm going through, I'm realizing, okay, I don't have a full 
um, assignment or assigned place for this category of my life. So that's just kind of what I'm doing. And as you can see, that goals package is just like covering a lot of ground here. Um, and it's got a lot of just different stuff in it and options. So it took me a little bit to go through that goals package. But now I'm going to go through the homeschool extension pack. And I really like this one too. So purple's my favorite color. And then I really love these neutral colors. So and gosh, as a teacher, I mean, I'm a virtual teacher, so I don't need some of this stuff, but I was sitting here going through, ooh, I could use that for cam or, oh, I can use that for some lists at home or, so it's not just that I'm using each extension pack for what it's named. And I kind of want to put that out there for newbies as well. You don't have to use it as it, say, as it says it's for. It's great for it, but if you don't do anything with homeschool or school in general or teaching, this homeschool pack can still work for you. You um, might wanna get a little creative with stickers or whiteout, but these packets can really you know, be used in other areas. And that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out here is where I can use some packets and where I can use some of my actual planners in different areas of my life and what's gonna work. I know it's not going to work from the beginning. I know that things are going to change, but this is just kind of the general 2021 idea of my planner so far. So now you see that I have the first part of my planner is looking like an extension planner, or extension, um, the wellness planner. And then I tried to see if my home planner would go here nicely, but I, I didn't end up going with that. So just so you know, um, but I did like it as a home planner, even though it's a, the homeschool extension pack. Okay, you guys, so I went back in and I marked where I left off. I want to give you a tip for that. I put a star on the very end so I know that that was my um, indication that that's where I left off. So basically when I go into February and I try to pull certain pages, I know that that's where I pulled my last page. So sometimes you're going to pull a page. Sometimes you're going to pull a couple. Sometimes you're going to pull for the whole month. And I recommend doing this no matter what. Because in a month, you're not going to remember where that page was. You're not going to remember, um, you know, if you use the whole part of the pack or, or planner. And just marking your place off is just a really good idea to do with that and just stay organized. Okay, you guys, here we go. So I think that I have it together here. First, I have my, well, or I should say my faith. Um, I do not have the planner yet, but this is going to go in it and it's going to be one of the first things I do in the morning. This is just from the Little Faith blog that I love so much and I can't wait to get my faith planner and start reading the Bible um, plan and just doing the challenges in my faith planner. So I'm really excited for that. Here's my wellness um, I keep track of many things here, my intentionals, my nutrition, my body movement, how I'm feeling for the day, and yeah, I, this is a very popular section for me. 
um, just in my life, but even just so far, like this whole thing is filled out already, just so you know. Um, I had this little half sheet that talks about how you're feeling I wanted to put in there. Next, I had have this set up as my um, my like life, family, um, home. I said work, but it doesn't end up being my work, just so you know. This is more for my family, and I'm still figuring out how I'm using that, being that we are in like the second week of January now. Um, but I just have a lot of notes, pages, and ideas. So here's social media. I have um, the monthly for my schedule. Um, next up, I have just some goals and stuff that I think will be helpful when I set up goals for social media. I feel like these could be good for the notes pages you just saw could be good for video ideas um, and just video notes and stuff. That's kind of what I'm seeing commonly used right now. Um, just needing lots of notes pages as I get organized with my social media. This I thought would be really cool for... Um, like my reading plan, but I realized that's not a good place for it. So I took it out and, um, I ended up putting it in, or at least I know I have it now in where, um, my intentionals are just kind of behind my intentionals. Cause a lot of my intentionals are some of the books that I'm reading. Next is my budget planner. And that's going to do it for this part of setting up my 2021 planner. I have a lot more in the part two, Again, just make a list, figure out what sections you need, and I hope you join me for part two so I can show you how I put this together in my actual planner. Bye, guys.